My man Larry, I got another deal ski for you, bro. This is a triplex. We're going to go over the numbers. It's in the Cleveland, Ohio market. If anybody out there is investing in Cleveland, Ohio, surrounding areas, this one is in Lorain County, you're going to want to watch Larry's show because this is how I could work with you, folks. Now, the property you're about to see, just so you know, I sent it to my guy Larry many, many months ago privately. So if you want to work with my team one-on-one, -on -one, click the notes below, book a free call. But for now, sit down and let's learn a little bit. Let's go, Larry. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. I am James Wise, and I do not invest in Bitcoin, y'all, because the rent is do all right real estate has made more millionaires than any other industry speaking of bitcoin dude i was watching this new documentary on netflix started it yesterday i fell asleep uh so i got to finish it tonight also i realized that was a terrible sell on how cool the documentary is like it's so cool i fell asleep look i got like little ass kids man it takes me three days to watch a movie has nothing to do with how good or how bad the movie is. It just does. That's life. But this documentary, it's called like Trust No One. Is this dude? He had like a uh, like a Bitcoin uh, marketplace in Canada. And long story short, he fakes his own death and then takes everybody's money. It's pretty sweet. The premise of it, like his scam was like, oh dude, the dude who owns this Bitcoin thing is dead and he has all the passwords, so you're all fucked. Great stuff. I highly suggest you watch it. But that's what leads me back to why real estate is so much better. The rent is due, folks. It's real. You could touch it, right? You don't lose your house just because some dude lost your password and or died and or didn't die. I'm not 100% sure what happened. I haven't got through the end of it. As I said earlier, I fell asleep. But real estate, though, that's real. That's raw. You could touch it. It's like this computer. It's like this coffee mug, man. You could physically touch it, right? People could live in it. People can't live in your Bitcoin wallet. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I find it to be the best investment. And one of those great investments is what I have for you today, folks. This thing is a friggin' banger, all right? By the way, if you guys dig my shirt, uh, you could buy it uh, by clicking the notes below. Use promo code HWTV10. I'll give you 10% discount, right? You get this shirt. You can grab this shirt over here. We got all types of shirts, man. It's WrestleMania week this week. We got the uh, Real Estate 316 shirts, whatever y'all need. 10% off the whole store. But anyway, could we please get to the triplex? Are we going to talk about Bitcoin, wrestling, or Netflix documentaries? Or are we going to talk about some real estate? We should probably talk about some real estate. How about this deal, y'all? 402 Woodland Avenue, Elyria, Ohio. 44035, priced at 100 75 grand just hit the market four days on the market and you bet your ass there's gonna be a bidding war on this thing folks this is a beaut look at this bad boy Woo boy triplex y'all triplex now if you're new to holton wise tv you don't know what i'm about to tell you if you watch holton wise tv all the time you're like oh he's about to tell us the triplex is our favorite type of investment you darn tootin second favorite type of investment actually First favorite, quad, four-unit apartment building. Second favorite, triplex. After that, duplex. After that, single. Worst investment of all time, the five- to 12-unit apartment building. What? Why, James? I'm so confused. I get why four is better than three. I get why three is better than two. I get why two is better than one. But why is five worse than four, three, two, and one? The financing, y'all. The financing. Okay? One of the reasons real estate's so amazing as an investment is because, well, again, I've already mentioned, you cannot lose your house because some dude lost your password or lost his password or faked his own death. That doesn't happen, right? In addition, financing. 30-year loans, fixed interest loans. You put down 25%, the bank kicks in 75%. It's tax deductible, the interest is low. You can't go out there, buy a bunch of Bitcoin and Ethereum and doggy this or doggy blah, 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 or a bunch of NFTs, whatever the fuck those things are. You can't buy that shit with a 30-year loan, but you could buy real estate with a 30-year loan, folks. Fixed interest, low interest. That's the name of the game. That's why more people become millionaires through real estate investing. But here's the thing. That amazing 30-year financing is only applicable for single-family homes, duplexes, triplexes, and quads. Once you hit five units, 
you no longer are qualified for that. You have to get commercial financing, which is no longer 30-year terms. The terms actually are terrible, especially for brand new investors. It's a mess. So the triplex and the quad are the most rental income checks you could get with that financing. And folks, you only get 10 of those loans, right? Can't get more than 10 of those beautiful loans. So you bet your booty the best thing to do is utilize all 10 of those loans before you move on to your commercial loans. Also, I don't recommend buying four or I'm sorry, buying nine or buying 10 four unit apartment buildings with those loans. I don't recommend that. Nine maybe. Ten, no. Why? I want you to use your first loan on your own home, folks. I've done various videos about how owning your own home is going to make you like two and a half million dollars over the course of your life. Watch those. Pay attention. Take care of home base first. Anyway, as I cruise through the rest of these photos, you can see it's just like a well done, nice three unit apartment building. All right. We already got three tenants in there and the listing agent and the seller. Uh, this is the existing rents. 530, 730, and 1,005. We got a one bed, a two bed, and a three bed. Market rents, a <clears throat> little bit better. Uh, the one bed, real market rents, truly we could get that up to 650. The two bed, uh, that's an $800 rental. And for the three bed, I actually went lower. I went 1,000. Uh, see, that's the thing, right? A lot of people, when they watch these shows, I give you guys the market rent and the current rent. I know a lot of naysayers out there are like, of course he's going to say the market rent's higher, dude. He's trying to fluff it. No, not the case, man. I, I shoot it to you straight, y'all. If I think uh, market rent's actually lower than what somebody's currently renting it, I'll tell you. I think 1000 I mean, 5 bucks here or there, it's irrelevant. But, like, I, I don't think you're going up on that unit. I don't think it really is relevant how they got that extra 5 bucks. I'm just saying that's a $1,000 unit, man. Uh, and the other ones, there is room, though, right? So that would be 2450 for the month. 29400 for the year. 29 and a half, man. We're almost at 30 Gs. But you don't get to keep it all, folks. This chart right here illustrates to you the fixed and variable expense estimates involved with having my team manage this property, right? There are costs associated with owning rental property. Uh, there's a lot of work involved, but don't worry. You don't do any of it. Holton Wise does it all. Property management, maintenance, construction, insurance, tenant screening, tenant leasing, evictions. If I left something out, we do that shit too, all right? We do it all, and I think you'll make almost fifteen grand a year net as far as price goes, okay? Oh, wait, I said I was going to read all this. Okay, well, hold on. Price? They're asking 175 I'm going to read all the stuff I said I would read and then tell you how much I think you got to pay. They really banged out a big description here. I'm probably going to get tired of reading it all, but let's go. Let's do this. Woo! Ah! Ah! Woo! You see these guns right here? You see how tight these sleeves are? There's like, you can't even get a finger in there, honestly. Anyway, insulated from market volatility, is this attractive turnkey investment? Oh, these guys are on the same wavelength as me, man. Volatile. Bitcoin is volatile, okay? You know what's volatile? This gun right here, dude. Woo, that's vol. Oh, anyway, insulated from market volatility, is this attractive turnkey investment opportunity for positive cash flow? Fully occupied three unit all brick triplex with ample parking that grosses 2275 monthly. Uh,. This is inclusive of the on-site Speed Queen laundry station owned by the landlord and which conveys with the property. Uh, it's $1.75 to dry and $1.25 to watch, uh, wash. By the way, if that takes coins, we got to get rid of it, dude. Holy crap, the coin-operated laundry units suck. Now, that's a pretty nice neighborhood, so you probably won't deal with a lot of theft, but man... Uh, we used to have a whole bunch of coin-operated laundry in a lot of our multifamilies in, like, low C, high D areas. Never again, dude. We went to coinless on all of them, bro. First of all, they break all the time. Reason being, because you get motherfuckers that break into your building and just beat the living shit out of them so they could steal the box. And then they steal the box of all the coins, but then, of course, everything else on the machine breaks because they beat the crap out of it on a regular basis. Not to mention, when they don't beat the crap out of it and you actually go in and collect it, dude, that is like a lot of work. And I know I said we do all the work for you folks, which is true. We do it all, but we don't do it all for free, right? I know a lot of people are like, I see I see this sentiment out there. Sometimes people are like, oh, I don't mind buying a house in the ghetto. The PM will take care of the problems. That's true. We will take care of all the problems, but we don't take care of not one of them for free. <laughs> so anytime there's a problem, it's like, okay, no problem. Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. You get what I'm saying? So uh, actually collecting the money when you have like, 
hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pounds of coins. You have to actually like get like a like we used Brinks, I think it was. Uh, they would like issue you bags, and they had to come in with the armor truck and the guns and the whole. It was dude. It was such a nightmare. It's actually. Anybody out there uh, who's doing any large amount of business with coin money, it's insanity, right? Uh, so you got to go to the coin list, right? So much better, so much smarter, right? People just pay on their phones. That's the way to do it, okay? Uh, note, there's a little cost with that because you obviously have to provide Internet access for the machine to work. But trust me, it's definitely uh, worth it. Anyway, back to this. Updates abound in this move-in ready property. Each one, two, and three bedroom suite features updated individual meters for electricity paid by the tenants and is equipped with individual thermostats and hydronic radiant baseboard heating. The upstairs three bed suite enjoys an expansive eat in kitchen with island and oversized uh, inviting living room, three well sized bedrooms, four foot wide hallway, and a full bath. Carpet and painting finished in 2019. The first floor one bedroom suite also enjoys newer flooring, painting, and bathroom 2018. The first floor two-bedroom suite features updated flooring, paint and bath in 2019. The roof was replaced in 2014 slash 2015 from a flat to an angled style, which is great because that's going to last quite a bit. You won't have any pulling. That's what you want. And in 2020, the landlord added parking to accommodate nine vehicles. Newer windows clad the exterior dated in 2006. In addition, this property enjoys low-maintenance lawn regimen with zoysia. Zoysia grass, which self-greens in the spring while looking dormant off-season. Financials are available for the property upon request. Please provide ample notice for showings. All right, I don't know about the grass. Uh, cool. Sweet. Buy it. I don't know. Maybe it's some good grass. They really are trying to sell this sucker. Uh, moral of the story, though, right? Cutting it to you. They work for the seller. Their job is to sell the thing. Uh, you know, and I can get you those finances if you want them, but I wouldn't be too concerned with that. I would focus more on what I gave you, uh, considering you want to focus at what this building is probably going to do for the long haul, right? If you look at any rental property in like a small snapshot of time, right, you could make it look as good or bad as you want, depending on what snapshot of time you make. In reality, you should focus on what it does over the long haul. And over the long haul, this is a nice fucking property, okay? I don't know if that grass adds any value. I don't think it fucking does. I don't give two shits about that grass. But the moral of the story is this is a nice property, okay? It's in a nice solid area, all right? It's in Lorraine County, Elyria, very landlord friendly. They're getting two new naval bases, a bunch of jobs. This is going to be something you want in your portfolio. This is going to be an earner for the long haul. And I am not the only one who thinks that, and I could guarantee you we're going to have a big old bidding war on this bad boy. So do I think you could buy it at 175 No, not at all. Not a chance. Uh, I did the numbers based on 185 going 10K over. So you pay 185 you kick in 46 250 bank kicks in 138 750 Long term, it projects out to a 17.1% cash on cash return. Do I think if you bid 180, you're guaranteed to get it? No, not at all. Honestly, it's up to you how much you want to pay. I think the minimum bid should be 185, uh, but you may want to bid a little bit more. This is a nice property, dude. And if you look at uh, Lorain County right now, there's like not a lot. It's not like if you're like, oh, we didn't get this one, James. We'll grab the next one. There ain't one that is like like this, okay? Another thing you got is it's newer construction compared to a lot of stuff, right? This is built in 78. I know a lot of you, a lot of you out there invested in the Cleveland market, watch my content, are a little bit like, whoa, dude, what's up with all those new lead laws in Cleveland? F those. Those look like they suck. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, I linked the video below. I talk about them. They're kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, I love Lorain County. I love Elyria because they're not messing with that stuff. But guess what? In the future, if one day they decided to, this property ain't got to worry about because it, it was built in 78. It's for properties before 78. In 78, uh, lead paint was outlawed in the state of Ohio. Plus, it's also brick and has new windows, right? So you really got no issues. Moral of the story, folks, is you should buy this fucking building. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.